Alright guys, how's it going? This is Dan once again, and this is part 19 for the core campaign. It's called the Vibrian Fleet, and what a pain in the arse of a mission this is. Um, we pretty much need to stop any ship getting through our line, and it's pretty darn interesting. Let's go. Right, we need to move quickly on this one to get everything in motion. Uh, let's split these. Uh, send them over here. Yeah, you've pretty much got to get a defence set up somewhat quickly let's get these ships over here so i can see where we need to put them uh, anywhere here will be fine uh, let's send the warlord over there as well send these over here whatever that was wherever i just clicked there whatever doesn't really matter right we need to get going as quick as possible to get some energy up because we need to build metal makers, which is atrocious. Yeah, pretty much submarines are the currency on this level. We need to get these up and out as quick as possible. For some reason, these are going that way. You know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, that wasn't funny. Right. Get these over here as well. While he's doing fuck all. While he's doing fuck all. Start building that. And I think there's a metal deposit over here somewhere. Huzzah. Right, and while we've got a little bit of time. We need to start building these. As you can see, already to try to get through. Believe me, it gets a hell of a lot harder. Um, where did I put the other guy? We need a sonar station and then we need to start pumping out as many torpedo um, launchers as we can. After I start getting these built, like another one is needed, and the energy starts rolling in, we can start getting some metal makers. Guess what they do? You can see how fast I'm trying to work now. Okay, built. You know it. The range isn't that good. That was a very quirky noise. Yeah, as I've said, we do need to be on top of it relatively early. Realise that torpedo things cost so much, don't they? To be honest, I think it would probably be quicker and easier us having some form of air defence. What I'm gonna do that. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure you can get it up relatively quickly, relatively easy, easy as well. Um, Cause you do need some ships ready to start chasing them down, or in our case, some planes. I say this is about the fifth time I tried this mission, so I'm pretty much at my wit's end.
Because the way I see it is that if we can get you know, some rapiers out, if they do end up breaching the line, then it's not as bad. Like, it's not ideal, of course, but we can live. Really? That's what you'd have to do? Don't see why. And I'll just keep that construction ship there just to help out. That's exactly how I lost last time. I'm really sorry about these flickers. There's absolutely nothing I can do. So the more we've got over here, the better. Try and create some form of line between them now. Right, at least it's nearly built. Amazing. Right, we've got enough as well to start building more of these. I've just blocked them in, haven't I? Nearly. <laughs> so at least now, if anything goes wrong, I can send them in to help out. Because I think they've just got to... We need to stop them getting to the top. So useful that I can do I can build uh, some ship stuff with the commander. Move these over here. Let's at least search the island. So we know what we're dealing with. So they can scramble pretty quickly. What I'll do, I'll just leave one over here. And one over here. At least then if push comes to shove, they can move quite freely. Right, we only need one more metal maker to keep both the shipyard and the aircraft place up and running constantly, which is what we want. Helium, helium, then get that. I'm just waiting for the, like, you know, everything to start falling down now. This one over here as well. I think if we can just get these constantly pumping out troops. We should be okay. I'll do. I'll just move this out the way a little bit so it's not in any crossfire. One over there. This one over here. What I'll do actually is I'll move them further up because oh, 
miglior potendo è See, I don't think we can complain too much about that, like the speed in which they're getting dispatched. I think the only problem would be if they send a few ships, then we're screwed. Just put one here. We're looking good. Famous last words. <laughs> Just to go and pick that up as well. So that's where they're going to be needed. I think I lost an enforcer, uh, a snake, and I think I lost me construction ship as well, which sucks. Start stacking these, and hopefully, um, I've still got me construction aeroplane, haven't I? Say they don't do a ridiculous amount of damage, but I think they'll do enough. Uh, where's my construction? Might seem a bit silly, but I think get some of these down there. At this point, anything is a benefit. That's still taking a hell of a long time to destroy them. But it is these that need the most help. I should group these, technically, but I don't want to have to sit and figure out how to do it. Well, I can just grab them when it's easier. Like, boop. Get them, bring these over here. As long as they're all on the one screen, I don't really care. It's intense though. I haven't actually, uh, I don't think I've ever concentrated so much on a video before. This makes me sound terrible, I know, but it's true. Holy shit. Yeah, I need every... <laughs> So there's these. Let's see if I can do as a control one. There we go. Right now I've got all my all my planes grouped together. Right. Let me have a brief look. I didn't lose anyone though. I thought the enforcer was done for.
Sit down, boy. Uh oh. Jesus. No need for that explosion. What the fuck? Defend our lands? Not doing a really good job, are they? Oh my god, thank god for that. Well, at least you can't say it weren't interesting. <laughs> um, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I need to go and have a little bit of a lie down, because I'm a little bit stressed. But um, this has been Dan. Take it all... Wait a minute. Oh no, sorry, I thought I saw something then. Uh, yeah, this has been Dan. You all take it easy. I'll see you next time.